Yeah. <clears throat> Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Titan Lords where we are just going to be chilling a little bit and getting back into the swing of things. I took a tiny break from it to play normal Dota due to the fact that the companions, Compendium is in full swing at the moment as well as the fact that uh, matched rank, matchmaking has been changed for rank gameplay and I've been trying that out again just to give it a go and see how that is not hasn't been going too well for me unfortunately but i've been trying my best and having a, a pretty good time with it regardless but we're back now to play some dota unlords instead um because you know, i feel like it's been a little bit of time since we played any dota unlords or recorded a nice episode of dota unlords so i thought it's what better way than to get back into it than to just immediately uh, pick it up pick it up and have a go and see how it goes so we're going to be uh trying our best today to Get a first place. I'm not going to be happy with anything under first place. I think I'm really specifically going to be trying to get a first place here. I just feel like that, that should be my goal for today. So let's let's try for first place. And uh, of course, we don't get a first place. That happens. And that's life. And we have to accept it and move on. But I'm going to definitely be giving it my all. And really, really, really hope that we can get that first place spot acquired for us in some Dota Unlords. Because uh, it has been a while since I played. And... You know, I'm still sitting in the same rank that I was and I wanted to like improve myself a bit and maybe maybe uh Go up a little bit, you know Upgrade ourselves if you will, you know, if I'm making my normal Dota rank high, I might as well make my Dota Unlords rank higher Why not? What other way is there in life to decide What uh, is good or bad? Ah. I, I just don't think that, um, I just really don't think that it's good. And when I say it's good, I am, of course, referring to the item for stuff. So I'm not going to pick it up today, but there was definitely some temptation there. Sorry, I had to mute the mic there. I got a message that I had to respond to, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so you know we're gonna be giving our best go, see how things go. Uh, you know, if we get a win, we get a we get a win. If we don't get a win, we don't get a win. Of course, we want the win, because what we, what what's better than getting a win, guys? Not much, not much. Let me tell you that much right now. So um, got a pudge, we got some bounties. Maybe go scrappy today. I'm mean, feeling scrappy a little bit. I do. I did lose some here on the vena. Who knows how much that uh, extra ten heal per second was. Could have been, um, so maybe something that you know could have cost me a lot, but I think it's kind of worth the free roll, the free reroll here, honestly. Um, so it's fine. Mm, I think, I think I want the Pudge in instead of the Venom, and then I want Let's the Draw in instead of the other one, and then I want this obviously on the Pudge. To this, so we have like kind of a semi hunter. And dead strike going out now, but I'll keep the Venom around. There's no reason to sell it. It's one gold. It's not going to make us get more interest, so there's no reason to sell it specifically. But um, yeah, you know, I, I definitely was thinking to myself, is that my? No, that's their first stuff. Um, I was, I definitely was thinking to myself, like, was it worth it? You know, but uh, we'll see how it goes from now. Though I, I do want to try and go Scrappy. I, I think Scrappy is decent again, and I, and I really like it personally. It's my favorite style for Dota Unlords. Ironically, I only like Clockwork as the in real Dota. I don't actually play any of the other heroes. I guess I 
play Timbersaw occasionally. And I'm not too bad on Timbersaw either, but I definitely don't play Tinker and I definitely don't play Bounty Hunter. So those are two heroes I don't play. But I also do not play uh, Alchemist. Uh, I will, however, occasionally play uh, a little... Uh, I think I said alchemist, but I might I might have misspoken, but that's okay. So I'm gonna put the timber in here instead of the beast for now, because I'm not really getting much out of the beast in the sense of uh, synergies, because I need three hunters, of course. Uh, with beast, I only have two hunters. Um, so we put the the timber so on left. At least we got the level one scrappy, which is better than no synergy. You know what I mean? Timber is not a bad unit either. Just an okay unit. So my luckily my my bounty actually did go straight on the trial, but then I pudge saved the jar's life, which kind of puts me in a little bit of an awkward situation, in all honesty. So this is kind of the opposite of <laughs> my pudge kind of did the opposite of what I would want him to do. But you know, it's yeah, you gamble. You gamble a little bit sometimes. And it, nice spin. What a what a beautiful final spin there, just to. They won't be so lucky. I almost want to say sneak out a draw. Beautiful, beautiful draw for us there. So, uh, I think we lost because he had the Eidolon left, but we don't take any damage. That's all So, if we lost, it would be even better because then we get the uh, potential loose streak as well as the free rerolls, which I want both of. So, yeah, we did lose that. Even though we didn't take damage, we didn't lose it. That's actually perfect. That's almost like the the perfect situation. So, I'm not, I don't need to buy any of these units, but I want to reroll. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to level up. I'm going to put the Beastmaster in. Because we can, we're gonna buy this and then this. Um, and I'm gonna roll here because I really wanted to use my free reroll, it was very important for me. And as you can see, this is why we, we basically got everything we wanted, and isn't that exactly perfect for us? So I'm gonna give this to you now because you have more max HP, so you'll heal more HP via the uh, Hood of Defiance. At least that's how I think it works. Tiny will toss someone, but hopefully, the Hood of Defiance keeps me alive. It seems to not really be working. Okay, but luckily we did take out the Lycan with the Shuriken Toss from the bounties. That actually, that's actually really big because the Lycan is very, very strong. It's, a, it's a, just a very, very strong unit. So I feel like my DPS is a little bit low here. So depending on how quickly Tiny tosses me. Yeah, I was going to say, depending on how quickly Tiny tosses me, it'll depend on... Oh, the Helm of them dying made me waste my Shuriken on the wrong unit. So if Tiny tosses me, I'm in trouble. But Timbersaw did luckily spin. First, we got a win though, which I'm not exactly sure if I wanted. I might have wanted a loss here specifically, but Oi. it's okay. So at this point, we do want to look at our economy. Uh, having two gold, obviously, round seven. Not the greatest situation. So let's keep trying it. Let's save up some money if we can. We're going to level to level six next round, which means we are going to need another unit to put on. I'll probably put in the Bounty Hunter. Or the Venomancer, but probably the Bounty Hunter, because I don't think I synergize with the Venomancer in any way. Um, so probably just put the Bounty Hunter in for another backline jump uh, damager. Um, the fact that it's a scrap is helpful, I guess, but it doesn't give us more synergy. Um, unless we want to buy specifically other units, such as a Tinker, an Alchemist, anything along those lines. But we'll see how it goes for now. But we do really need to think of our economy, guys, because we're not getting any interest right now. And that's obviously a very bad thing. Because you need that interest, guys. It's, it's, it's very important. Okay, so I'm, uh, thank God my bounty at least took out one person before you got murdered. Um, I wish you hadn't switched targets like you did. That would have, because you switch targets onto the Bloodseeker for some reason instead of just continuing to attack the slot, which then of course uh, causes you to get silenced because Bloodseeker is a human. And then I lost. So had he just attacked the slot, he would have killed the slot. He could have shuriken the Bloodseeker to death because he wouldn't have been silenced. And I actually might have won that round. So you know, a little bit of fast stream, but we do get a free reroll, which is always nice. But we do need to keep in mind that we need to level up here as well. So, um, money wise, economy wise, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Once we hit six, though, then we just chill for quite a very long time. Eight rounds. We're going to be chilling for eight rounds before leveling up to level seven. So, eight rounds is 40 gold income. So, if we save all 40 gold, you know, we get up to 50 gold reasonably quick. Uh, it is very difficult sometimes because you get these type of situations where you do need to buy these units. And uh, that, of course, does hurt us economy-wise. But, you know, I think it's going to be probably worth it in the long run. If you look at this, we get level 2 Drow out of this. We get level 2 Venom out of this. We get a level 2 Beast out of this. Uh, I'm going to put the level 2 Beast in instead of the Phenomancer for now. But the problem with this is our economy just got absolutely demolished. So no interest for us. But, as I said, 8 more rounds of not rolling or leveling up again so it gives us eight rounds to start building that economy up so let's hope we can we can we can sort that out as soon as possible guys because we're gonna need to 
Looks like we will pull out a win here, which I'm not sure if it's good or bad. Probably good because we don't want to really reroll. Rerolling can be very expensive. Um, so it's probably fine. But at the same time, I do also wonder if that is the right approach, you know? Okay, so from this point on, it's all economy, economy, economy. So we will specifically be trying our best not to spend any money we don't have to spend. Of course, if we get things like Tinker and Timber, we will be spending because how do you not spend in that situation? I will be putting Tinker in the place of Pudge. Actually, I won't. I'll be putting the Timber Saw back. Um, so I'll be putting the Pudge back. Giving this to the Timber Saw and give this to the Beast. And we're actually putting the Tinker in instead of the Veno. Even though Veno is a great unit and it really fits with my Bolt and what I'm trying to do. I want the synergies as long as possible. Inventor synergies is just really useful. The timber Saw to stay alive longer. And of course, another Scrap unit is always good. To get closer to four Scrappies. And I do want the Undying bonus from the Drow and Pudge because that's minus five armor. And as all our damage is basically physical right now. Minus 5 armor is extremely important and detrimental for us if we do not have that option, so... Very good. As I mentioned though, economy-wise, we are definitely struggling. You know, only seeing our two economies. Never a place... Let's just say it's never a place you want to be. Blink is fine. It's almost perfect to give to an assassin. The assassin blinks on the back line. He gets 50 mana, which means he gets his spell off literally faster. And if he kills off a unit with shuriken, for instance, that can only be good for us. So we're going to be buying these two units once again. We are finding ourselves in a little bit of a problematic situation here because we are finding ourselves in a point where we're not being able to save economy because we're getting kind of lucky and drawing the right units. But uh, I would rather draw the right units now than have to roll later for them and then waste economy anyway. So I think it's still fine to carry picking up these units for now. We'll but, you them. know, it is, it is a little bit worrisome. It does get a little bit worrisome when you sit there and you're like, hmm, my economy is kind of in trouble. I need to kind of figure it out and work on it so i was hoping you would choke in the which you did but it did unfortunately come a little bit late um my timber swap just blew up i think which i didn't know it could do without uh, unstable con unstable reactor which was the old global item that i think they removed from the game i think they might have just added it to uh mix in general Mix will just explode when they die. I think that is what happened, but I'm not entirely sure about this one. Once again, we're doing very well on HP. You know, we're not really win streaking though. We're not lose streaking though. So we're not getting any free rerolls. We're not getting any free stuff. You know, that does make me worried. But on the other hand, we have picked up a bunch of units we really want and like. And uh, you know, now we just now we just try and build our economy. We have three, five more rounds to build the economy. So that's roughly 25 gold, which we're going to spend 10 of to get level 7 and then put another unit in so probably gonna only be seeing around 15 gold in the next uh just, what is it five more rounds in the next five rounds which means by round 17 or 18 you want to level up and as i mentioned the big problem there of course being that if we do that like that we will find ourselves in a position where we uh we don't actually have income into the late game and as you all know having income into the late game is very important so I'm, I'm, I'm slightly worried right now but we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes so level three nature's profit you know it's it's going to be strong early game you know right now it's really good it's going to fall off as the game goes on longer but for now it's decent at least um that's why lone druid uh, not lone druid it's a lone druid it's a great unit don't get me wrong but that's why druids are really good druids are kind of fun because druids put you in a position where you're like if I get this unit or if I get that unit, I'm in a good place. So actually here we want the Necrophos um, and we want it in place of the Pudge. But I'm not going to pick it up right now. I want that interest. I need to start making that economy back. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to be buying the Necrophos and then selling the Pudge. Because the Pudge is a warrior and we're not going to be going warriors at all on this. But we want the Undead bonus. And since we have a Venomance, we might want Warlock too. Uh, the Warlock bonus from Necrophos helps as well. So we'll pick up the Necrophos now. We'll sell the Pudge next round and put the Necrophos in and uh just hope for the best so unfortunately my bounty hunter got stun blocked by the tiny uh, immediately which puts me in a little bit of a detrimental position but luckily this guy's units are pretty weak so we do sneak out a victory here i think this is the same guy we drew with last time and by drew i mean we lost to him but took zero damage so we got the free reroll which was of course very nice but we lost out on the um yeah, it's fine. 
but we did lose out on some other things. So we're going to be selling the Pudge here. This is insanely evil. Uh, a lot of units that I clearly want. Wind range is a hunter. It competes the hunter bonus. It's a good hunter too. Um, you have your Shadow Fiends, two of them. That's a Warlock bonus to combo with the uh, Necrophos. So I think I'm actually going to probably be picking up the... I'm, I probably want to pick up all these units, but we can't. So I think I'll pick up the SFs and one win for now. And uh, we're just going to have to hope for very, very good RNG to see another SF and uh, to find wins later. If we don't ever get a level 2 win, I'll be very sad. Because I probably passed it up having it right now, but <laughs> it is what it is. We're getting that one interest anyway, so it's okay. Uh, I think it's only one. I think it's not two and four. I think it's just one for now, but... We're making our money back. We're approaching the level up, which is three more rounds. And uh, we have to see how it goes from there. But I feel like we're in an okay place right now. I feel like we're really not doing too bad, honestly. Um, obviously, it's really hard for us to know for sure. Once again, a, a little bit of an awkward situation, but kind of at the same time, a pretty great one. And I will 100% be adding the... Shadow Fiend level 2 here and losing the Necro bonus because Shadow Fiend level 2 just does way more damage than level 1 Necro. As good as a level 1 Necro is, it just isn't what we want right now. So we're going to get one more interest from here. We're starting to slowly but surely make our, our net worth grow. But if you look on the board, we are literally tied for second worst position on the board, which is obviously really bad because that's not a position I think you ever want to be in. So we could find ourselves in a little bit of trouble economy-wise. You know, some people have 50 gold, they get their 5 interest every turn already. Other players got 60 gold, they get their 5 interest every turn. You know, that means he's getting 2 levels, 4 experience per turn, which means he's just going to out-level us at a pace we won't be able to hold up. So win, win sprees, etc, etc, et are almost imperative to our strat right now. And if we don't get it, we will find ourselves in some, some serious trouble. But uh, we can hope at least, though, for, for some really good... I almost want to say RNG here, but it'll be very interesting to see. So I'm taking the Maelstrom here. I don't know if it's the right choice on the SF. Maybe it's better on Bounty. Maybe it's better on Drow even. I don't know. Clockwork as a unit, I definitely think we want uh, no matter what. And I think we want the Clockwork of the Beast. Even though it's only level 1 for now, it does fully complete our Scrappy bonus, which is very important. Now we can decide, do you want a Mirana or do you want a Wind Ranger? I don't know which one's better. Let's go for Marana because she's a four cost unit. Simply that reason alone. We're going to want to put in the Marana, Necrophos, the and Beast. So level nine to make our strat work. And then we want to finish it off with the Techies at the end. Um, an Alchemist will be good. Probably replace the SF with the Alchemist should it show up. But uh, for now, the SF can just be here and do his job. That's okay. Uh, and we actually do sneak out a win here against uh, So because uh, just a little bit too much burst on our uh, scrappy units. And having four scrappy, of course, helping quite a lot with that too. I think uh, SF is kind of maybe a bait right now. I feel he's not really doing much if we look at the damage of the last round. Though he did do the most with his out. Hmm, it does, it does, it makes you question your choices. You're like, is this the right choice? Am I going the right route? So I did mention we want to level up around 17. It does destroy our economy as you might have guessed. But what it's going to do is it's going to give us a double whammy special here because it's going to give us the Necrophos for the undead healing and the Warlock for the Warlock healing as well as, of course, uh, just having an extra unit on the board. But as I mentioned, we are paying a lot of our economy and our future interest on our economy for that. So it will be very interesting to see uh, what, the, what the consequences of our choices are in the later part of the game. This person is also, gone, is also gone Warlock, you know, that's Warlock Hunter Strat. It's pretty much what we're trying to do, but he just has the finished version already, which we do not have. But luckily, Scrappy out heals a lot of the damage he's doing reasonably fast. And since he had seven units and he killed one of my units fast, my Scrappy bonus did kick in immediately, which gives me and all my Scrappy units plus 9 eight armor and plus 9 HP. So quite a hefty advantage there for us. Quite a few units we want here, obviously Tinker and Draw Range are both really, really good. Um, we'll pick them up after the round starts, of course, so we can get that interest going. So now we need to decide, when are we going to level 8? Well, the answer to that is actually very simple, in 8 rounds. It's literally that. We'll level 1 to 6 by round 9, and then every 8 rounds you level up. Every 8 rounds you level up. As long as you stick to that pattern, 
you will 100% and I promise you this when I said 100% be able to maintain a very 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 healthy uh, level system for your units but depending on how many units you're picking up on your board such as you look at mine right now I'm kind of overflowing uh, you could destroy your economy now I'm in a little bit of a scary spot right now because I've got a lot of single one star units on my desk and I'm not finding the things I need to upgrade and I think a, a, a clock had come up earlier that I missed so that was a big misplay on my side um, we will definitely pay for that because level 3 clock is something uh, we would prioritize clearly above almost anything else but for now we just keep the strat as it is we do not need to change up anything here this is just make money in eight rounds time we level up we look where our hp is sitting at at that point if it's good it's good if it's bad it's bad Let's see how this so this is the level three druid guy and he now has two level threes so he's instantly become a lot more scarier his peer unfortunately did one shot my uh his peer did unfortunately one shot my sf before my sf will get his out of and my neck was my neck was to get his heal off so we will unfortunately lose this one decently hard uh, not much we can really do, but it's only the two level threes that survive, so it makes it less bad. <laughs> it makes it less bad for us. We still take quite a bit of damage. It should be around eight, if I'm correct. That's right. Um, and that always hurts. You don't want to take eight damage if you don't need to. Specifically, um, when you're in the position we're in right now, where we don't really have the luxury of picking up units as we want. So, it does it does cause a little bit of problem. So, I really need the SF to get this out of. It's kind of like imperative so i'm thinking about switching these two up maybe like this so that they uh the ss still gets out but it doesn't get gone because assassin will jump from here to here always the furthest unit away which will be the neck first um but I'll, it'll be interesting i think we sh won't beat the bears doesn't really matter it's i think if you when you get one victory though i'm not entirely sure though it actually is important i should probably at some point in the future figure this out oh if i just got that out of i think i could have made it guys wait oh we drew we drew it we drew with the neutral round guys we drew with the neutral round pretty impressive considering how weak our lineup is right now so i don't feel uh, really bad about that now this is a very interesting situation brace of desperation vanguard and octane are all great 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 items really really good and I, I i think they're really really good i think the braces of the brace i got the octane thing oh i was gonna say i think the braces are better but apparently you know if you take too long to click there is a price you pay and that price of course was me uh not getting what i wanted so you know be a bit faster be a bit more confident about your choice so that you don't find yourself in a position where you are Getting an item you didn't specifically want. Let's just put it that way. For now, though, we're going to check how it goes against Kasath. Skathath? Skata? Skata? I think it's Skata. A bunch of did get straight on the back line. Immediately took out the draw. Now, what's really important about that, that uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure most people watching here don't need me to tell them, but what's really important about that is uh, if you take out the draw, they lose the attack aura bonus. So that's, of course, really, really good for us. But we still lose a little bit too many. Uh, too much damage coming up from the lone druid and the bear tanking too much on my damage on my frontliners. Different problems. I'm seeing quite a lot of uh, I'm seeing quite a lot of assassins. I mean, sorry, not assassins, hunters here actually. Uh, the exact opposite of assassins. I'm actually gonna be um, I'm actually gonna be when does I level up three more months? I'm actually gonna be moving my line up a little bit here just so i can get the uh my front line is a little bit closer so that they can actually uh not get stuck tanking a bear and dealing all our damage to a bear and actually focus our damage a little bit more evenly now depending on how quickly this uh tiny gets his mana which was immediately will depend on how hard this fight was for us we got our out of which is really good but then things but we did get a ravage against us so that is very scary of course level 3 tiny is kind of destroying us in the back right now but we get the out of of the tinker which is very helpful unfortunately we just don't have enough to get it through a level 3 tiny just yet he's a little bit too tanky you know a little bit too tanky we're lacking a little bit in the damage side we're lacking a little bit in the item side that's fine that's fine you know we, we were playing with the knowledge that we're gonna lose a little bit in the later game 
to win a little bit in the earlier game. But we've got our economy up and we are getting the levels at the right time. So everything is going pretty well for us right now. We are on a losing streak though, which does, it's very scary, right? So you go on a losing streak and you do start panicking. You find yourself in a position where you're like, oh no, I'm on a losing streak. Am I about to lose the game? And well, no, just chill. In two rounds, we're going to level up. So let's roll one time. Clockwork is definitely something I want to pick up and I'm definitely going to pick it up immediately and i will roll one more time because i got the clockwork i mean didn't get anything else so that's okay i was hoping to pick up a second clockwork which would have been very very pure luck based but it can happen i think a knight strat here knight dragon strat always very scary with the ta in the back there's the ta don't get your refraction off ta got a refraction off my sf did die though however which is very problematic for us and that's up to Bounty to just even the board out a little bit before he dies. Just take out one more unit. Beautiful. Take out the Lunar. You can do it, Bounty. I believe in you. Beautiful. So we do lose here, but I don't even mind. Like, honestly, even though we lose, you know, it was very close. And I'm completely fine with that. So level 2 Abba will unfortunately beat us. Pretty close though. Actually, no. Sorry. I sure can the Abba at the last point and won. Just, just in the nick of time. That's actually amazing. I'm so happy. I didn't. I really didn't expect that win though. So that's a that's a very very welcome and happy win. There we go, and we get the level three clock. It's exactly what we want. We will. Uh, yeah, we don't need to roll here. We can just chill. Next one we are leveling up anyway, so we might as well chill now. It's okay. We don't need to worry too much. I mean, we can level up now already. It doesn't really matter. Um, put like two into there. It really doesn't matter, but because we're still gonna level up next round regardless. Every eight rounds, guys. Every eight rounds. It's level six by round nine, and every eight rounds after that, you level up, level up, level up. Just gotta make sure that you remember, and you have the economy, of course, to do it. Very important. Something that uh, sometimes I specifically mess up with. I always forget. I gotta have that economy, baby. I do actually have to have the economy. Without the economy, can't really level up now, can I? You know what I mean? So this guy is. Uh, his build's okay, but his positioning is so trash. That he kind of gets to get screwed. Like he's not placing any of his units where they should be. Nothing's next to nothing. So he's not getting the aura bonus from the draw, for instance. It does find himself in a little bit of a bad situation. I feel bad for knocking him out though. But he was on one. So if it wasn't me, someone else would have done it. And I don't have to feel too bad. Sweet, so we're leveling up now. Thank the Lord. And look at this. We get like a level 3 bounty right off the bat. We get another... Timber Soul, which is great, and we get to put in a unit here. So finally, our Beastmaster gets to join the party. He's been waiting a while to join. He's been like, Yo, guys, I was bought ages ago. When am I joining the party? What's up? What's happening? You know, what did I do to deserve this hatred and stuff? But no, nothing, dude, nothing. We're just chilling. We're just chilling. So, we're looking for an Alchemist to replace our SF with, an Alchemist, of course, and then the Techies to just round up the build, put them on it, and then we're done. Those will be our final units Techies and uh, Moana. Of course, with the Alchemist replacing the SF, so we will still be keeping all our bonuses we currently want. So that's the only units we need right now. We get those units, we get them to level 3, we get the best items we can get. And I think that's just, that's the best approach, guys. I think that's the best approach. Now, obviously, I messed up by not taking the braces. The braces are really, really good. And I probably would have been happier with them, but I did not take them. And as they say, you know, you you got to pay a price sometimes, and that's the price we are going to be paying today. So in eight rounds, we're going to be leveling up, but it will be earlier than eight rounds because we're going to be putting gold into our levels from this point onwards with all our interest when we are not buying units. Very important. So it's level six, then eight, eight, and then you chill. Hmm. That's a hard one, but I'm going to go Dagon, I think. But that was actually a really hard one. Give the Dagon to the Tinker then, and we can give this to you, I guess. There's a Moron we can pick up. That's very nice. We'll roll one time here. It's two Tinkers. Very nice. And we chill. And we chill. And we chill, guys. We level 8. You know, there is a level 9 guy. He's really, really wealthy. We level 8. We got that 50 gold. Our board is looking decent. No level 3s in our future. Um, but we got two Moranas now, we got the two, uh, Beasts, two Tinkers, two Timbers, you know, we're making our level 3 start happening, we're making our level 3s, I mean, it's taking a little bit long. Warlock Strat by Kimi, 100% obviously defeated us, not much we can do about that, but luckily my Bounty Hunter was very kind to just quickly, quickly take out a unit at the end there for us, which was obviously very So Tinker did get the Dagon off, so that's nice. 3,000 damage from the Tinker. It means Tinker is like a little more valuable now than what he was uh, previously. So we're just going to re 
arrange how my units are. What about... What about this? Yeah, I think that's fine. I think I might get gone off by assassins though. That does worry me. Pick up the beast 100% and we'll pick up a uh, drone. There we target. go. So level 3 beast is... is yeah, he's kind of far, but it can happen. Level 3 Timbers is also pretty far. Level 3 Tinker pretty far. 4 units each, 3 on the... Beast, of course, five for the drow. You know, we need a lot of units. Basically, this guy's got a level three jug and a level three tiny. Wow. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna feel the pain here, guys. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's just that this one's gonna hurt a bit. Depending on how quickly my SF gets his auto, and my SF literally never got his auto. He seems to have got stun locked somehow. I'm not entirely sure how or why, but he seems to have got stun locked forever. Interesting. No, I, I really don't know what stun locked him. This guy's on one HP though, so he could potentially get knocked out. He's like the scariest person on the board, I would say, for me. Too many level threes that are just a little bit too tacky. I, I am on such low HP. What the frick? I lost like two rounds and I'm down to like two HP. Okay, so here we go, guys. Time to make some, some things happen here. Feels good. Now we get to roll a little bit too, so it's always very nice. You know, start getting those units that we really, really need up in here to increase our strength parameters if you will and now we just wait now we chill guys so there's a clockwork i really do want though i really want that clockwork i think though unless i give up the marana which i probably don't want to do because the level one run is useless and level two one is actually going to have a use for me i don't think i specifically want to give up the marana just yet just yet but uh you know, it's definitely there was definitely some uh, some scariness in that one, guys. There's definitely some scariness. So, hoping assassin kills Zoe. It's kind of important for us. Uh, Zoe did not die. I think he it said he took zero damage, meaning he either drew, which is likely, but kind of was, feels a little bit impossible for me, or uh, he was very very fortunate in the sense that he. Uh, Someone wants to keep rolling it. There we go. I was like, I, at some point, I will get the Alchemist, so it's worth it. Um, and we got the Alchemist. We do lose the SF now. SF was a very strong unit. It was doing a lot of work for us, guys. Do not misunderstand that. But I really want to get the full Scrappy and Inventor bonus. And to get that, I do need... Um, I do need Alchemist. And I do need a Techies. That's level 3 PA. And that's a dead Necropost. Actually, Necropost got a healer before it died. Very nice. It's actually really useful. I think, uh, body exploded, I guess. Uh, it's kind of, I would say, kind of 50-50 right now. It's kind of going in any direction. Any, it could go any way. It looks like my explosion on the Timber Sword does take care of the Pia, though. Very, we, we had very good RNG there. As you guys saw, Pia just never got its crit off. Kimi and Zo both very, very low. Whoever beats whoever will knock the other out oi, for us. Oi. Hopefully, Kimi knocks out Zo. Zo is a problem for me. Uh, Zo somehow won his round and Kimi won his round. So neither got knocked out. Kind of a big problem. Kind of a big problem. We roll a little bit here. Not too much, just a little bit. See if there's anything you want, like a Beastmaster. That's very nice. Well, again, why not? Get a Marana. I like a level 2 Marana, but we'll wait on it. We'll wait on it, though. We want the level 2 Marana, but we also want to make sure we put the level 2 Marana in when we hit level 9. Of course, and also we want to buy it off to the one start so we get that five interest instead of that four interest. It's little, little, little details, but very important. Very important, specifically if we're going up against uh, neutrals, right? Now. So our uh, alk, ah, so really hoping our alk we get. It was kind of like imperative that our alchemist got its spell off, which it didn't. So we won't beat the dinos. The dinos seem a little bit broken. Um, I mean they obviously definitely beatable i've done it many times but i think it requires the right kind of synergy and um obviously i need a few more higher level units like a level one alk level one necrophos at this point in the game round 30 it's just not cutting it you know what i mean it's just it's really not cut. it's not giving me enough of what i need i'm gonna go with dawning wrist because there's a there's a guy who is playing with um that's fine you can actually keep that there's a there's a player that I saw that was actually playing with um, the full warlock strat, so that that will really uh, negatively affect them. Not to recruit Wind Ranger. I like Wind Ranger. I don't know what you're talking about though. Okay, I was really hoping to pick up a single Beastmaster. We didn't get it. It's okay. 
It's okay. So when are we going to level? Oh, we should have already leveled up to level nine. My bad. I no wait. I leveled up once. So four, six. So it's two more rounds. And two more rounds, we want to hit level nine no matter what. Uh, if we have any hope of winning, Kimmy. Kimmy has been on a pretty decent winning spree. Has no money left, but has ten units, guys. Ten units. That's a little bit crazy. I don't know if I can beat 10 units in all honesty, especially when one of them is a very, very tanky level 3 Pudge. Now, luckily, as you see, there was already lots of... The healing was way less from the Warlocks, thanks to my um, Dawning of Ristol. Really helping us a lot. I think Necrofo, since we're not getting much healing, I'm going to take out Murano right now. And I'm going to give Murano the Dagon, and I'm going to give the Octarine to this Tinker. Reasoning being very straightforward and simple, I'll tell you I don't mind, is that I just believe that... Uh, the Warlock bonus I'm getting is not worth as much as the potential for a... Uh... Ooh, Gyrocopter, 100%. Gyrocopter in the place of who though? Draw Ranger, I guess? I guess, but... I don't know, it feels... feels risky, guys, risky. Gyrocopter can play, take the place of Techies. For us, so that's that's kind of nice. Uh, I think you know I'm gonna give up. Do I give up Necro first for the give up the Warlock strat? Let's give up the Warlock strat. Pick up the Clockwork. And now we got the Gyro. Let's see how the Gyro performs for us. Yeah, it's gonna be very interesting. We've changed up our ball 100% here. So if we lose here really really bad, you'll know that the big problem was that we of course uh, specifically needed that Gyro. I feel like there's a slot that's just going crazy. Is that a mom slot? No. Wait, what is it? It's a hot mob and dying slot. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. So we gave up the Necrophos, which was a very important unit for us. We're going to hit level. We're hitting the next level now, so let's do that quickly. As I mentioned, I did specifically say that we are going to hit the next level soon. And that was the time, guys. No, Tinker for us. Why could I pick it up? There's the Techies, though. the beast and quickly buy the techies switch them out very quick nice okay i don't know what i just did i feel like i got beast and techies on the board which is weird i can't buy this okay so i'm gonna sell the draw for the tinker i'm gonna roll i'm looking for beast master now basically so we're gonna roll pretty hard you're not all the way but uh, pretty hard here yeah. hoping to find that beast master we find another clockwork not the beast we did find a take you so i'll buy it really looking for a beast master so i kind of went all the way whatever you know i made a choice guys i really wanted that beast master didn't work out for us that's okay life happens give this to the beast i guess let's drop the beast master script i think let's i think if we get the beast master we pretty much win guaranteed so Let's go for the Beastmaster. We didn't get it. Okay, that's life. Life happens. So, two more clocks. Level three clock. Um, I, I mean, like the techies will die before it gets a spell off. Is the problem? Wait, wait, wait. What about this? The techies blink to the back, have half his mana, and then this will be interesting. I don't know if this will work. It'll be, I, I mean, I literally know whether it's going to work or not. Techies got his mana. Techies did get his mana. Boom, it did nothing. <laughs> okay, Tinker though. Tinker. Tinker's doing some work. Tinker's dead though. Okay. Kimi, you destroyed me. Oh, my game over? I might be game over right now. I'm, I'm game over. Okay. <laughs> I came third. I tried to switch it up maybe a little bit too much at the end there. Kimi having 10 units, just one more unit. It's okay. We came third. It's not the best placement. I don't know. Maybe I went a little bit. Maybe I went a little bit too crazy. I probably just went a little bit too crazy. We're switching up my ball completely. The draw and... Uh, Necrophos and the Warlock bonus was obviously helping a lot. Maybe the item choice at the end was bad too. Probably should have gone with any form of damage item instead. Or tankability item for the Timber Saw. Would have maybe been the better choice. But we come third place anyway for now. Thanks for watching this episode of Dota Unlords. If you guys enjoyed it, please be sure to hit that like button. It does help me out quite a lot. And I really do appreciate it. Of course, if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe to my channel. There's going to be Dota Unlords. There's going to be some more Dota Jungle for a little bit. But there, that's going to be another normal Dota. Dota Unlords is going to be going on for quite a while. We have Final Fantasy VIII Remastered coming to the series. Persona 5 Royale coming to the series. We have Farm T9 speedruns, we have uh, Eritas, we have uh, Dark Souls, we have Sekiro, you know, it's, it's all coming, guys, and there's going to be a lot of it. Of course, if you guys want to ask me to play a specific game or challenge me to some form of run, for instance, you might want to say, hey, I want to see you play Dark Souls at level 1, head on over to my Patreon and I'll be able to 
definitely see to that no problem so for now thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time more dota unlords where hopefully we can try and squeeze a victory because i feel like it's been a little bit of a while guys i feel like it's been a while and i'm not enjoying that not enjoying not winning in a while i must admit third place is not good enough for now thanks for watching i'll see you all next time